Hello guys, uh, welcome. My name is Tomasz Wyszniewski. I'm a chief analyst in Alparia Research and Analysis, and this is daily analytical uh, report with uh, Alpari. Uh, first, let me show you the calendar, and we'll discuss important events uh, this uh, week. So, as you can see, um, uh, we had uh, an important data from uh, a plaque of data, actually from. Uh, Great Britain, which uh, came kind of mixed, but uh, British pound is uh, losing right now. Uh, so British pound is uh, falling mm, uh, sharply uh, at the moment. Uh, also, we are waiting uh, for uh, ECOFIN uh, meeting uh, and um, uh, targeted LTRO. Uh, here uh, what is more guys uh, we said that, uh, on our uh, webinar we said on our uh, webinar uh, on Friday that this uh, week uh, shouldn't be very busy in terms of the uh, macro uh, macro data uh, so let me show you the calendar uh, for uh, the for coming week on Wednesday, as you can see, we do have a meeting, uh, non-monetary uh, policy ECB meeting. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal, uh, but we'll have an interest rate decision in the Reserve Bank of uh, New uh, Zealand. Now, what do we have also is a speech from Janet Yellen, and actually that will be the most important event this week. Uh, it's, uh, it, it will be on on. The Excuse me. And on Friday, uh, on Friday will be PMI day. Uh, so PMIs from Eurozone, PMIs from uh, from United uh, States. From the fundamental point of view, we don't have any uh, significant uh, game. Uh, changers um, so we are slowly digesting the movements from the last week uh, I would say that on most of the instruments uh, we do have a continuation of uh, trends uh, which started uh, which started uh, last week uh, trading is very technical uh, I like what I'm seeing on the uh, charts uh, right now. It's uh, well, I don't want to say that trading right now is very easy, but it's it's uh, pleasant. It's pleasant uh, because the price are making very technical formations right now, uh, and uh, we do not uh, see any serious uh, fundamentals on the ho on the horizon uh, which can interfere with our uh, technical trading this uh, week. But let me show you. Uh, the charts right now and we'll start with uh, those instruments that I mentioned on our uh, trading sniper uh, video uh, where we post the best uh, free trading occasions on the market uh, and this is uh, for example euro dollar uh, euro dollar uh, is created finally created this inverse head and shoulder formation left shoulder head and right shoulder but obviously the formation itself is not a signal to buy uh, what we need is a breakout of a neckline and here it depends how do we look at this formation because uh, you can see that the neckline can be declined like this uh, pink one but you can also consider the neckline uh, this horizontal resistance uh, here which wasn't only support in October 2016, but was also a, a support in uh, February and March 2016. Uh, some of the traders uh, can't buy right now because they see only pink uh, resistance uh, here. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure with that. Uh, I would uh, rather wait for breakout of this horizontal support. In my opinion, breakout here, uh, only this uh, neckline 
uh, is not enough. What I would like to see is the breakout of this horizontal uh, resistance and only the breakout of this resistance would be a, a buy signal uh, for uh, me. Uh, potential target for this movement should be uh, here so actually it's not the best uh, trading opportunity on the market here because it's relatively risk, low risk to uh, uh, not low but bad risk to uh, reward ratio uh, we still don't know where we should uh, put a stop loss uh, here in this uh, trade because for example uh, the, the price can uh, break it straight away or make a small reversal and then break it. If they will make a reversal, it will be easier to set the stop loss order. But for now, for example, if you want to buy now, stop loss order should be somewhere here. Excuse me for a second. Okay, we are back. Um, I was talking about uh, potential uh, trade here uh, so if you would like to buy now for example the stop loss order uh, should be located somewhere here 100 pips lower uh, potential target is 200 pips and we don't even know that this resistance will be broken so uh, buying now obviously uh, the sentiment is positive and most traders are buying uh, and there's uh, there's a lot of them uh, much more than the sellers uh, but from my point of view from the price action point of view i would be a little bit scared to buy a uh, okay so this is the situation on uh, euro uh, euro uh, dollar uh, let me show you now australian dollar to american dollar uh, where we do have uh, well well this situation here is very similar so what we are seeing here is an inverse um, not an inverse head and shoulder formation but uh, also an attack on the horizontal uh, horizontal uh, resistance uh, here so uh, we do have this horizontal resistance here in australian dollar uh, we do have a horizontal resistance here and kind of inverse head and shoulder formation on a weekly chart left shoulder head and the right shoulder was uh, was uh, being created in the second half of the 2016 uh, but uh, price created kind of a second right shoulder so it's not the cutest inverse head and shoulder formation in the world uh, but what is interesting is uh, just higher uh, lows from now and a potential for higher highs which uh, should change the trend uh, here so actually situation is uh, kind of similar because we're challenging the neckline of this formation and also in the same time a horizontal resistance on euro dollar we kind of broke the neckline and we are about to challenge the horizontal support but on australian dollar to american dollar it's happening in one time uh, so we are trying to break the horizontal uh, resistance and break the uh, the uh, downtrend line at the same time well downtrend line seems broken but uh, I, I wouldn't bet a lot of money on that and i wouldn't call that a significant uh, breakout uh, so here we are waiting for the situation to develop this uh, resistance was very strong uh, since the August as you can see uh, it was attacked many times and was defended by sellers and we have another attack we had this you know, we had this attack yesterday uh, it caused a little bit of reversal but as you can see the price is still pushing higher and uh, the buyers are trying to uh, to break that horizontal uh, resistance right so we are waiting for the situation to develop but uh, to develop but for now it looks like this uh, this uptrend should be uh, should be continued even that we're below uh, such an important resistance but the buying pressure seems uh, seems legitimate seems uh, high and uh, buyer seems uh, determined to pull the price uh, higher Australian dollar is uh, not uh, stronger only against the American dollar but also uh, against the New Zealand dollar uh, right so what we are seeing here is interesting situation because maybe let me start from uh, the long term 
situation where on the weekly chart the price uh, broke uh, two weeks ago a trend line uh, here after that they made another uh, bullish candle with higher highs and higher lows uh, which shows uh, that uh, this breakout is legitimate and should be sustainable uh, should be sustained and um, uh, the price is uh, still advancing higher now we're trying to make a small correction but as I will show you in smaller time frames uh, it should be stopped uh, so uh, this movement is uh, driven by this invest head and shoulder formation left shoulder head and right shoulder uh, probably yes we can have a correction that shouldn't be a problem here but uh, long-term sentiment uh, shows us that the price should aim uh, here uh, which is 320 pips uh, higher and we were already telling you that when the price was uh, was uh, here so uh, from that point 100 pips but let me show you a smaller time frame maybe hourly time frame because this uptrend is very interesting because it had three corrections so far uh, well, it had two corrections and now we are having the third one, uh, but look at that. This is, uh, well, it depends how you uh, use the lower line, uh, right? Uh, lower line in the, um, in the trend continuation patterns in, in the uptrend is not very important because you, uh, and you wait for the breakout of the upper line anyway, but let me show you that. all right and this it depends how you use this next line maybe here so we had a, a pennant bullish breakout flag bullish breakout and now we're having flag and we are waiting for a breakout of the upper line of this uh, of this uh, flag and, uh, formation so it looks like that horizontal support is defended once we'll have a breakout of the upper line of the flag it should trigger the buy signal on uh, this um, on this uh, instrument All right so australian dollar to new zealand dollar there is a buy signal uh, present on the chart in the long term euro to british pound so we had this uh, data from uh, the great britain as you can see uh, british pound got a little bit uh, stronger uh, what we are having here is a flag formation All right maybe like that uh, flag formation is a trend continuation pattern so this trend should be uh, continued and actually that's our uh, that is our uh, view that the support should be uh, should be defended what we are having here is also 38.2 fibonacci level and on a daily chart what do we have uh, here is, is the symmetric triangle formation uh, which was uh, broken recently here and here uh, sellers had a chance for a uh, head and shoulder formation buyers use this chance for uh, um, a symmetric triangle formation after the breakout they are making a trend continuation pattern so trend is bullish we should defend this horizontal support and we should see the price advancing uh, higher that is our base scenario for euro to british pound and uh, upswing from here looks more probable uh, euro to australian dollar is a uh, kind of mixed uh, we have many um, many um, uh, objects uh, here let me uh, delete some of them yes, i would leave uh, only the most important one this is part of our uh, this is our order i already placed that on the chart because i'm gonna tell about this uh, trade on our webinar on our seminar in the philippines that we uh, will have this week uh, but after invest head and shoulder formation what price created is head and shoulder formation but for a sell signal we need a break uh, we need a, to see a breakout of this orange support uh, or uh, uh, for a buy signal we need to see a breakout of this red uh, resistance here so we are below uh, support and resistance uh, so the sentiment is uh, mixed and we are waiting for a proper signal to develop 
similar kind of a similar situation to um, uh, to euro uh, well i have euro to british pound upswing flag and euro to japanese yen also h4 you can see an upswing and a flag uh, as well so it's kind of a similar situation this trend line got broken uh, but it's not important what is important that the price broke 38 point of fibonacci level and went back above so this can be considered as a false breakout and while once we will have a breakout of this 23.6 fibonacci level and also breakout of the upper line of the flag formation we should see a trend continuation here on euro to japanese yen so this week starts with much stronger euro uh, good for them obviously interesting situation on uh, american dollar to mexican peso uh, because uh, you can see this uh, long-term uptrend line uh, here and what we spotted uh, recently a few days ago was this hammer on this on this trend line bouncing exactly from the support uh, that could be a trigger for uh, not a reversal but at least uh, uh, take profit action at least small correction but no uh, the selling pressure was very high the price broke the trend line to be precise in the lower time frame it's it was like that uh, broke the trend line and used the trend line as a, it was a support one two and after the breakout it uh, became a resistance and now we are uh, on uh, the lowest levels uh, in this uh, bearish correction and actually it doesn't look like the correction anymore it looks more like a trend reversal all right it's uh, maybe we'll have a, a deeper downswing than a kind of a correction which will go somewhere here and then trend will go down so actually uh, we should ch uh, soon challenge the uh, levels seen before uh, donald trump was elected as a president because uh, uh, he was elected as a president uh, here so probably soon we're gonna test uh, those levels uh, from uh, before this uh, the time that donald trump was president Canadian dollar to Swiss uh, franc as you can see we do have a position here uh, but it's not our main live trading account our uh, well this account is still on profit but our live trading account has much higher profit um, what we are seeing here is uh, support uh, support got uh, tested many times but it didn't cause a huge drop that's uh, usually a problem with um, uh, pending orders because that was a sell stop order uh, there was a plan that uh, we will have a huge downswing here after uh, the price will break the support but as you can see uh, they uh, test the support they come back test again come back so it's kind of a side, uh, sideways trend uh, but still there is a hope obviously you never should uh, trade on hope uh, but it won't be a big loss anyway 500 dollars if it will happen canadian dollar to japanese yen i think that uh, the upswing will be very hard to uh, to keep the price uh, high uh, because i think we definitely broke the horizontal support uh, here and uh, most probably 38.2 fibonacci level will be soon under uh, the pressure let me just adjust the fibonacci correctly right so uh, this level was a nice support here 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 there was a false breakout was a support here but it got broken now it should be the closest resistance the price should bounce from it and approach 38 point of fibonacci level from the top american dollar to police lotte yes 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 that's what's happening that's what we are saying 
uh, we are saying that somewhere here we are advising well not advising again because we cannot advise you anything but we are showing explaining our view uh, on this instrument which is bull which was bearish uh, so here I was thinking about the price uh, going vastly lower. Uh, why? Because uh, it broke a horizontal support here, then tested this horizontal, uh, this level as the uh, closest resistance. Test was positive because price created uh, shooting stars. And I was thinking that uh, the price uh, will be interested in making three the same uh, bearish impulses in a row. Uh, they made one, they made a second, and they are about to make the third one. All right, so uh, we finally, and also we uh, bounce from 38.2 Fibonacci level, which is always uh, good. Uh, so we bounce uh, from 38.2 Fibonacci level, we broke 23.6 and now as you can see this is a daily chart 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we have a fifth uh, bearish uh, day in a row uh, the price broke horizontal uh, psychological barrier of 4 uh, the closest technical support was 398 uh, but now we are around 394 uh, which is good for uh, for sellers uh, and to the closest support which uh, will be a long-term uh, uptrend line we do have 340 pips but I would really love to see the price uh, going down uh, here 1000 pips 1100 uh, pips to make the third uh, the same impulse in a row I would really really love to see that uh, let me show you the uh, what's the situation here yes we broke 23.6 maybe 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 if the party will go on we can see police water here on uh, 381 but who knows we will see and gold I had lectures yesterday at the, at the university and I asked the students about their prediction for gold and uh, uh, mid-term long-term actually at the end of 2017 they said that gold should be stronger uh, that's also my view I hope they were not biased by my opinion uh, but what is uh, happening with uh, with uh, gold I deleted all the supports and resistances not to uh, not to confuse them uh, but let me draw that uh, back uh, hopefully we'll challenge this uh, this uh, trend line here well I'm uh, t telling you that hopefully uh, because uh, you're not surprised that our view on gold is, is uh, rather bullish uh, we stated that anyway in our uh, forecasts for 2017 and uh, so far so good so far it's going all right uh, thanks to that defense uh, we do have now the closest uh, midterm uh, uptrend line and we should soon challenge this resistance on 1245 uh, 45 dollars and the short term the upswing is very strong it is hard to draw a, a proper a proper uh, support maybe that as for the resistance maybe that so what we are trying to create right now is uh, uh, ascending triangle formation right so uh, ascending triangle is a trend continuation pattern uh, so we should see a breakout of the upper line of this formation and uh, the price advancing higher okay let me uh, switch to uh, our another account and here obviously we will check oil oil brand oil
Yes, so this is our beautiful oil black gold. Here, okay. You obviously remember the symmetric triangle resistance here, here, support we beautifully defended, but we can call it, we can call it an uh, investment and shoulder formation or a triangle it depends which line will they decide to break if they will break the upper line left shoulder head and the right shoulder and a potential movement here if they will broke the lower line the potential target are the previous lows from here well we do have a downtrend it looks more like a trend correction than a reversal so in my opinion uh, well there is no strong trading signal here at the moment uh, but if i would have to trade i would say that the biggest probability is for a downswing right as long as uh, we are here quick look on uh, the indexes yes obviously dax is doing very good Yesterday we made new highs, which I don't think you should be surprised about. Here, beautiful wedge uh, formation. Well, wedge, if it would be uh, go this way, that would be a trend continuation pattern. But we're if we are having a wedge this direction, it's more like a trend reversal pattern. But uh, only mad guys go against the trend at the moment if the almost with every day the price making higher highs you really need to have uh, a large stop loss uh, to go against the trend uh, right now uh, it's uh, not worth it i would rather wait for a nice uh, nice uh, reversal pattern nice trading signal even if I would have to sacrifice few pips, I would rather wait for a, an extra confirmation. Like I will get this confirmation once uh, I, I, we would have a price below this horizontal horizontal support. But uh, so far, it doesn't look like this support will be uh, broken, and the price should advance higher and higher and higher. As the situation on stocks, uh, on almost all of the stocks, not only uh, German DAX, especially in America, indexes are on a very high, high levels. And uh, currently, nobody is surprised about, about that. So you can see some decent trading occasions this week. Uh, unfortunately it's our last daily analytical uh, report this week because as i said uh, tomorrow i'm uh, traveling to philippines to um, held a uh, seminar there uh, if there's uh, anybody from philippines uh, here i hope to see you there uh, we'll talk more or less about the basics of uh, trading but the basics are the most important and even if you're trading for 10 years you come back to basics anyway at the end of the day uh, so it what uh, counts uh, the most uh, remember that trading and investment in financial markets involves an element of risk and for more occasions uh, keep eye on our twitter account and our website alpari.news thanks very much and goodbye